Hey crafty friends, Kim from Stamping and Scrapping Imperfection. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Kendra's Card Challenge number 10 video hop and giveaway. It's time for a new Kendra's Card Challenge. These are three month challenges and you can get this free printable. I'll put the link below to where you can go get that. It has six cutting templates for six sheets of pattern paper. All the all the dimensions and everything are on them. She even shows you, Kendra even shows you where to start cutting on each paper. Um, you will take those six pieces of pattern paper from your stash and turn them into 15 cards that you love because you also get 15 card sketches with the challenge. And the card sketches are as beautifully done as the cutting diagram. So let me tell you, they're beautifully labeled. There is also a color version of this, which I actually prefer um, the color version because I find it very helpful to pull the right paper out and put it on the right card. So I'm going to be making specifically card sketch two today, which is that one in the center of the top row there with the diagonal band and the oval. Although I won't be using the oval, I'm going to make two cards with this sketch. One will use a rectangle and one will use a circle. Um, with these cutting um, templates and card sketches, you also get all the information about um, the the challenge and um, I'm showing you there by the way that I'm using paper scraps for all the mats and stuff because the card sketches also give you uh, sizes for mats to go behind the pattern pieces. You can see that there's a huge list of car prize sponsors for this challenge. Some of the prizes will be given away with this video hop. You can use hashtag KCC10 giveaway hop, by the way, to find all the videos in the hop, although I'll link Brian, who is the next person in the hop below. Um, in the video description, you'll find all the details for all of this in case I forget to tell you something. Um, so you'll find the links and the next person in the hop below, leaving comments and giving a thumbs up and subscribing to channels um, is uh, helpful and you can win prizes from this video hop for leaving comments. So I am using Scrappy Tails craft goodies. I haven't um, placed an order with Scrappy Tails for way too long because she's come out with some beautiful stuff. She came out with some gems. There's pearls and rhinestone gems. I bought a variety. They're beautiful and you get a ton of them. I also bought this die set. This is called Patisserie. It's a, like a beautiful pastry shop die set. I've got my little die cutting machine there. All those dies are going to fit in there beautifully and I'm going to be able to create some fun scenes with them. I treated myself to a stencil. That's the chevron stencil and when I use it you're going to see how pretty it is. So I will only have to cut one sheet of paper because I'm only demonstrating card sketch two. Other people on the design team will be um, each doing a different sketch. So you'll, uh, if you watch all the videos, you'll see Kendra uh, how to cut with the paper sketches, and you'll see each person on the design team um, demonstrate a different sketch. So I'm sketch two. So I also purchased these six by six paper pad here. It's called J'adore. And these are the patterns, they're double sided. So there's 12 patterns in all and you get two of each one, I believe. Um, you get 24 sheets of paper, which is a lot of six by six paper. So you could um, do this challenge several times. Or if you're one of uh, Kendra's Patreons, you have access to all her old sketch challenges. So you can use some of those as well. So I went ahead and cut everything out. I chose to use Aquatini and Party Dress inks from Catherine Pooler for my ink blending today. I'm not going to do any stamping, believe it or not. I did all my die cutting and cutting of papers off camera. So I can just show you how I put these cards together because the measurements are all on the cutting templates and the card sketches. So this is actually my card base in that nice um, Aquatini color. And um, it is actually close to my heart lagoon, by the way, the paper. Um, I cut those top rectangles where my little scene is going to go using my cat scrappiness uh, rectangle dies. And I've had those forever, absolutely forever. So uh, cat scrappiness, I love to get 
her, she's got all sizes and shapes of, you know, all the dies you pull out all the time. Scrappy Tails has lots of 3D pop-up and um, scene building dies and stamps. They're just amazing. So um, I did use those cat scrappiness ones to cut the two top uh, rectangles for this particular card. So I'm using Catherine Pooler's Aquatini. Now, Catherine Pooler is also a sponsor for um, this quarterly challenge, and so is Cat Scrappiness, and so is Scrappy Tail Crafts. So it, it, it's a lot of fun. The companies are amazing, and they give really good prizes. So if you participate in the challenge, you have a chance to win a lot of prizes throughout the three-month period, and leaving comments and all the videos in the video hop today will increase your chances of winning a prize from the video hop which I think will be announced in like a week I'll put those details below so you can see I'm kind of doing sort of an ombre effect here every time I inked up my blender brush I went back to the top of the stencil so I could get that part darker and then as the ink was being placed I did um, continue down my paper so that bottom of the paper could be very light. I just really love that effect. I think it uh, always adds an interesting touch and it gives you a little bit more texture and dimension um, on your card. It just adds interest. So you can see my big pile of die cuts off to the side. As I glue this mat on, the mat by the way is four by five and a quarter. It gives you a nice little um, lagoon or aquatini colored border around the edge and then I have the two pieces that I cut the one pattern paper I believe is one and three quarters by six the mat behind it was a two by six I just glue everything together with my liquid glue I like liquid glue because it gives me wiggle room time this particular liquid glue does not all of them do I just put it at an angle it wasn't specific on the card sketch so I just put it where I wanted it and then I took a pair of scissors that I reserved for adhesive cutting and just trimmed down the edges of that um, that diagonal panel now I'm just going to build my little scene I use reverse tweezers those are also from cat scrappiness she has amazing tools on her site by the way so along with all kinds of adhesives and stuff like that um, so I'm adding some vellum. I just, you know, cut out some vellum to put behind the window. I thought that would just be an interesting effect and kind of separate it a little bit from um, the, the white background. So I'm just going to create a little scene with the cafe table and two chairs. I love Sabrina just does such a wonderful job with the little details in her designs. It's amazing. The chairs with the little curly Q legs, I love this. So I'm just gonna glue these on with liquid glue and I always use my um, reverse tweezers for things like this because it just makes it so much easier. And I'm just dabbing that glue on um, behind the black die cut piece so it doesn't show through the vellum. And I'll just finish building my scene here with that liquid glue. Now my second card is gonna do a slightly different scene because I'm not gonna lie, I love that little scooter. And I like those those um, planter urns with the um, like landscaped uh, bushes in them. Like I just think they're really fun. I'm not even sure what to call them. I, I think it's such a fun detail for this set. And she's got just so many clever dies in this set. You can create all kinds of scenes. So I do put this down and um, I don't believe I have any oval die cuts. I definitely have to fix that soon. That will be, they went on my wish list as soon as I realized I didn't have any oval. So I put clear blocks down on top of everything to hold it in place and I leave it sitting for a while just to really flatten everything out and get that glue adhered. And then I'm gonna add a few of the little pearls that I bought. These are a really pretty coordinating Aquatini slash Lagoon teal color. 
They and the pearls are in a variety of sizes and those bags are packed full. On the second card I used some circular um, scalloped edged die cuts to create my centerpiece and a whole different scene. I just used some stick on sentiments to finish my cards and I used the copper gemstones or rhinestones to finish that off. Thank you so much for watching friends. Um, you can find all the details about the hot below. We would love to have you participate in the challenge. It's three months long. I'll put all the links you need. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe if you're not